Namaskara, everyone. My name is Kohoki Kumari Das, and I'm a Kuchipuri dancer. Tonight I'll be presenting four pieces. They're modeled after the traditional Kuchipuri Margam, or Risayo. So I'll be starting with an invocation to Lord Ganesh. Many of you may know him as the elephant-headed god. He is the remover of obstacles, Vigna Vinashana. This piece is called Pajamanasa, and it was choreographed by me. First piece, Bajamanasa. Thank <laughs> you. 
So one of the jetties that I choreographed showed him eating way too much, where it's hard for him to move. So he's like, what do I do? I can't function like this. So he looks at the ground, and he sees a snake. So he takes the snake, ties it around his belly, and then he can move again. And that's his solution. So, <laughs> so when you see statues uh, or imagery of Lord Ganesh, oftentimes you'll see a snake tied around his belly, because why give up the good things in life? <laughs> the next piece is called Shivashtika. It was written by one of the greatest sages in the Indian subcontinent, Adi Shankaracharya. Shiva Ashtika means eight verses dedicated to Lord Shiva. And Lord Shiva is also known as Nataraja, the Lord of Dance. So Lord Shiva is described as the Lord of Prana, the Lord of Energy. So many of you, if you've taken a yoga class, you've probably heard that term before. So because he's the Lord of Prana, he's the Lord of all Pranis, so all living beings. And hence he's called Vishwanatha, the Lord of the entire universe. He's also described as being half woman, and the woman here being his consort, Uma, or Parvati. So the left half of his body is Parvati, and the right half of him is Shiva, hence the Ardhanari, the union of the masculine and feminine divine energies. This dance was taught to me by my guru, Srimati Gargi Chattopadhyay, and it was choreographed by her guru, Master Garu, Dr. Venpati Chinnasatyam. This is Shivashtika. Thank you. 
in 11 years. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> the nuances in this choreography is quite amazing to me because if anyone's ever seen a Shiva dance, it's really high energy. It's like people are like pop, lock, and dropping. But this one is very smooth and there's so much control which makes it harder to dance. So when I used to do this in front of my guru, she used to be like, total garbage. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> and then she'd make me do it again, and then again. So 
Hopefully I've made her proud with this piece. <laughs> the third piece is a bhajan. This bhajan, or devotional song, was written by the saint Tulsidas, who is quite famous for his bhajans on Lord Sri Krishna and Sri Rama. This particular bhajan is called Gopala Gokula Vavlipi. So he's describing Lord Krishna as the lord of the cowherds, the gopas. This expresses bhakti bhava, or the devotional love. So in my choreography, I show that while Tulsidas is writing his poem, he almost becomes Krishna, or he becomes the gopi, or he becomes the cow. And he sort of remembers who he is, and then comes back to writing his poem. And this really speaks to the divine union that we seek in yoga. Bhakti yoga is union to the divine through devotional love. So Tulsidas ultimately sees himself as Krishna. So he sees himself as the beloved. So this is Gopala Gokula Vallabhi, sung by Bombay Jayashree, one of the most amazing singers we have today, and choreographed by me. Thank you.
I hear some quiet wooing, so you can be loud, it's okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> My last piece is called a tarangam. This is traditionally the second to last piece in a Kuchipuri repertoire, but I'm performing it last for time's sake. Um, this composition is called Marakate Mani Maya Chela, and it describes Lord Krishna again, but this time we're focusing on his clothing and how he presents himself. So he has red, rosy cheeks like rubies, he has these beautiful lotus eyes, and he wears the sky as his raiment. That's how beautiful his clothes are. At the very last part of the song, we show Krishna in his rasalila. So he's dancing with his gopis, or the, the girls of the cowherd crew. And he's very joyous. This is another shade of bhaktiras, but a more energetic one. And then I'll be dancing on a plate, which is over there. Um, and the plate significance in Kuchipuri is that it represents the earth. So it's a dancer's challenge to use a different medium in order to dance, in order to really express him or herself. Uh, this piece, again, was taught to me by my guru, Srimati Gargi Chattapadhyay, and it was choreographed by her guru, Master Garu, Dr. Venkati Janasatyam. This is one of my most cherished pieces. I grew up with this piece. I've known it since I was 13 or something, and I just have lots of fond memories dancing with my friends, especially in the Raslila part. I always used to be Krishna, and they always used to be the gopis, because I was the tallest one, so I was always the guy. <laughs> So without further ado, the last piece, Marakata Mani Maya Chela.